What is up? Welcome. Welcome to this special edition of Real Talk Real Estate. That's right. Oh, yeah. We are coming to you live from our backyard. We switched it up a little bit yeah, for this today special we're in edition. The backyard. So we want to thank all our service members. Thank you for your service. Um, you know, we wouldn't have this freedom if it wasn't for you and your service. So thank you very much. Um, of course, we got my man, Brian Paolillo. Give it up for Brian. What's up, hey, Brian? Hey, how are y'all? What's up? Hey, more, more importantly, you know, Memorial is Memorial Day is all about remembering those that we've lost. Yes. And so we want to say thank you to the those members that aren't part of our uh, part of our, our living anymore, but and especially to their families who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. Oh, absolutely. So, Big sacrifice. So thank you yep. for that. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet weekend. Everybody gets to go out and celebrate and barbecue and go shopping and all of it. But it's also pretty. Um, we drove by a couple of cemeteries yesterday. It was really sad to see all the people yeah. going in and putting flowers up and and um, remembering yeah. their loved ones. So it's a big time yeah. to go do that. Without a so, doubt. I, so, yeah. I love what Highlands Ranch does. I mean, they they always uh, put up flags in uh, yeah. in in memoriam of of the troops that we've lost. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, you know, especially to the men and women that gave their lives, but especially to the families, too, that, you know, Absolutely. lost their loved ones for our freedoms. Absolutely. And continue to. And continue to. Know, yeah. yeah. Without freedom. a doubt. Yeah. So thank you Without very a doubt. much. Yes. Yeah. So. On that note. Yep. Who's seen Who's seen the new Top Gun? I haven't. I have not. Have you seen it, Brian? I, I have not seen it. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I do want to see it. I just don't know if I can talk Carrie into seeing it with me. Oh, well, tell her Lady Gaga's in it. Yeah, I'll let her know. Uh, yeah, it it also has Tom Cruise, and you know. Uh, or, hey, I should I should re- recant that Lady Gaga does a song in it. She's not in oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Tom Cruise, and how how is it that Tom Cruise never looks any older? Like he always looks the same. All the pictures of him for the, the video, he looks incredible. So it's really quite confusing as to how yeah. this man hasn't aged in the last 20, 30 years. So whatever yeah. you're whatever you're taking, Tom, we want some of it. <laughs> that special fairy juice. Um, yeah, so it's called money. It's oh it's called money. <laughs> yeah. Oh money. <laughs> that's what Write it that is. down. Write that down. Okay, yeah. well fine, yeah, Tom. Right. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Well, and well, that brings me to my next segment. Our favorite oh, things. Oh yes, our favorite things. Yeah. Yes. Talk about that. That's sweet. Yes, our favorite things. It's, I think there's all, some new items on our favorite things. We're always things. adding to our favorite things, but we have to keep our favorites in. Ever growing. Ever growing. But yeah. well, we yeah. start with the fire. Yes, we, yeah. we broke into our second second uh, jar of our fire sauce today. So now wow. I've got, I've only Already. got one left. Uh-oh. I've You're only right. got one left Bottle Taco Beezy. Uh-oh. Yep, and then here well, we go. Sorry. Crack no. it open. I'm I'm yeah. only uh, I'm, I'm down to like sound I don't effects know. in my future. You need some sound effects, years. Brian. Yeah. If you're ever on a phone call with Brian, you will hear that, and everyone that talks to him ever will attest to this. You will hear this crack of a Mountain Dew. Very and you, it's very refreshing. Oh. You can yeah. hear it. I um, mean, you know exactly what he's about to do. So okay. I have I have no it's way like to deny sweet licks that. It's from John Mayer, <laughs> <laughs> and then sweet licks from John Mayer from right. Chris. Oh, oh, tacos. We're making tacos yeah. on Tuesday. Tuesday tacos. Is that? Yep. Oh yeah. With my boy. Yep. So friends are moving. So moving, moving out. We're having them over for tacos. A little, little bittersweet there, yep. also. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then my favorite. Also bittersweet. Yeah. My kombucha health aid. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. Yep. And then Brian, where'd you go today? You went to my favorite place. You were texting me pictures. I lost him. Are you still there? Oh, oh, he'll we, come back in. Him, anyway, so you he know went, where he was? Yep, Costco. He was at the Costco. Costco, yes. So Chris has been trying to talk me into a Traeger, and apparently Costco today only has the uh, two Traeger models that are on sale. One's a hundred dollars off. One's fifty dollars off. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> it was a madhouse right in front of this, like where all these people were trying to get these these Traegers. How many do you think they had left in the store? Was oh, that was it you're enough? You're killing me. Was it enough? Uh, I, I think they had. I mean, they they had a ton of them. They have a whole back stock of them up there. But yeah, you know, there were like no one else was like like there was no other place in Costco that was like oh everyone's here. They were all in front of the Traegers. Like interesting. It was like a festival. Have you yeah. ever had food on a Traeger? Do you like a Traeger? Do you know about a Traeger? Like what what's your feedback? I on? I have had I have had food on a Traeger. I do not own a Traeger, but uh, you I could have. You could have grabbed one today. I, I could have. I could have. You're, you are 100% correct. On sale. 
Yeah, the best sale. deal on them that you can it's get. It's really a good deal. Yeah, really so yeah. Good deal. we were considering it, and then I wanted to know how much they were, so you're texting me pictures of them. Um, <laughs> no. So we'll talk about it. I really don't want to go out to Costco today. I have a I mean, problem yeah. with Costco, and I love to shop there, and I love to, I love we to were, shop. <laughs> we were in and out. Jake and I were in and out pretty quick. Well, so. you were on a mission. I like to. Yeah. I gotta look around. You yeah. got to see what kind of deals I've got. I mean, you could see this Costco here in Colorado Springs has them by the pallet load. They've, yeah, the pallet load. Nice. Yeah. yeah that's this, a, there was no no joke on... Slang it. I mean, when I, when I went by the first time, it was uh, a crowd of people. Oh, my gosh. And then, psst, you know what else we love? <laughs> did, did you catch that? Should I do it one more time? <laughs> one more psst. time. Oh, nice. What else do we love, guys? What oh. is it? It what is, is, is referrals. Referrals are my favorite yeah. thing. Yes, if you ever have a question about what a referral is, just let us know. We want to be able to help you yeah. sell, buy, invest in real estate in the state of Colorado, all over the world, whatever, wherever you want to go. We Wisco- got you. If you want to go to Green Bay, Wisconsin, we know somebody there. If Correct. you want to go to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, we got you. Texas, Preach. yeah, anywhere, anywhere in the world. Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Boom, done. Yeah, wherever you want to go. That's, know an that's, agent there. We do know an agent there. And we got lenders that will go all around. So Get you the money yeah. you yes. need and congrat- for that house. Congratulations to our sellers. We oh, yeah. are under contract on a sweet house down in security uh, mm-hmm. as of mm-hmm. Friday. And then we also got our land listing under contract. Here's a couple yeah. quick pictures yeah. there. Are you still getting phone calls, Brian? Are they... The agent's still blowing you up. You said last night they were, uh, they were, they were still yesterday, calling you. Yesterday and, and Friday was, I don't even know. It was, it was ridiculous um, how many phone calls. What a great area. It was Amazing a good deal, view. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it's an awesome deal. Um, you know, just for all of us, we're just like, okay, yes. we need to get, uh, like, not right time, not, you know. Everyone has that same piece, right? You know, yeah. you, you're buying a property it's got to be the right. It's got to be the right time. You got it right, right man. Right. Yeah. Yes. No. No doubt. Well, congratulations to our people though that are under contract. They're excited. Yeah. They get to yeah. move on to the next thing. Um, and speaking yeah. of under contract and selling, we were able to see some good friends yesterday. We all got together, which was fun down in Pueblo. Yeah. Um, our friends Phil and Sandy uh, just purchased and um, got all moved into their house. You would never know. That they were there for two weeks because the house was super settled in. Oh, yeah. How long I did mean, that new build take? Eight months, ten months with Richmond? Yeah. They rocked it out. Yeah. Our girl Taylor over there at Richmond hooked it up. She did a good like, job. We, we yeah. had a great experience. This home was perfect for them. Um, you know, I couldn't be happier for them, literally. So, you know, thank you to everybody involved. Yeah, literally. they're really and happy. That was great. Yeah, and happy anniversary. It's their uh, 25, yeah, 25th uh, an- oh, wedding 25th anniversary. anniversary. Yes, yeah, and I'll, I'll repeat so. what Sandy said yesterday. I asked her, I said, what's, what's the secret, Sandy? You've been married 25 years. What's the secret? And you know what she said to me? She said, Psst. Did you get it? Did you put the I picture did. in there? I see what you're she, doing there. <laughs> <Yeah>. she, <laughs> she said, let him buy whatever he wants. That's what she He's said. He's going to get a Traeger. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, I told her, I said, Sandy, you. you need to have a conversation, a sidebar conversation. With somebody before you start telling my husband that he can go buy whatever Kicking he wants. Kicking straight knowledge. Kicking straight right. knowledge. Girl. No. And and I, I was there with <laughs> Carrie and the kids. And so I was like, Carrie, did you hear what she said? Anything what I did want, Carrie I say? should get. What did Carrie say? Because uh, I'm sure Carrie she was said, right on. I don't on... care what anyone says. No, yeah. what Carrie said is as long as it goes both ways. That is yeah. what Carrie what said. She said. Yeah. She did say that. Yeah, I did hear that. But yep, so yeah. I, I remember that part. Yeah, Carrie might yeah. need. Which oh, I'm fine well, with. Yeah. That works she might out. need a lot of Birkenstocks, maybe a pool. Um, she got a pool. She set it yeah. up this week, so she's okay, excited. She, so. Maybe a, like an in-ground one, a little more Ooh, vacation yeah. time to Florida. I know things that Carrie likes. Yeah, Carrie, um, you know, Carrie can't like say travel. anything. We're going on, yeah, we're going on, on a sweet vacation. So Where are you guys headed she, to? Uh, we'll be in... Uh, Portugal and Spain. Wow! Uh, in the at the end of June. Oh my gosh! So we're going there. I can't there. Wait to hear about all that. That's going to be great. Yeah, we'll be there uh, for our twenty uh, twenty eighth wedding anniversary. Oh, so you guys are already yeah. past twenty five. What's your secret, yeah. man? What's your secret? Tell us. Yeah, let I, let her buy. Let her wants. buy. <laughs> let her buy whatever I, she wants. <laughs> I just say, sucker. Yes, She's put up with me for twenty eight years. Like, come on, that's like. 
that's a, an award by itself. I don't I don't have any great advice. I just say, Aww. you know, you have a best friend. You know, that's, be your best that's, friend. That's the bee's knees right there. You know, it's the yeah. truth. I was you're my best yeah. friend. You're my best friend. Yes. Yeah. And I was telling Chris too the other day. Just tell me I'm right. That's all oh. I want. Oh. That's all I want. Yeah. She said that's uh, that yep. this whole time that all I have to do is say. You're right. You're right. You're right. And you would right, you man. would win a lot more battles with me if I just heard I was right. That's all I want. I don't even care yeah. what it is. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't agree with you, but I you're right. Yeah, that's you're like, right. That's exactly. Like yeah. This yeah. is yeah. this is uh, so. really an in depth conversation that we're yeah. talking about right Not now. Not just real estate on this yeah. show. I mean, straight no. life coaching. No, exactly. Yeah. This is like. Yeah, I that's... mean, boom. we could go down. We could yeah. we could give a life coaching show. You're welcome. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. Well, let's get in. Let's get into real estate. What are we talking yeah. about today? Real talk. Oh, real talk. Real estate. What are we talking about? Yeah. Talking about. Uh, do you keep your house? If you wanted to finance, you know, have a make it a, a, a tenant property and then have it, you know, pull the equity out and then buy another house and then move from there. And right. uh, it's a question I've, we get I've, a lot from our people. How do I how do yeah. I turn my current house and into an investment property, a, a yeah. rental, uh, make some, get passive make some cash. income, make some cash and yep. then. Yep take that equity and go buy another property. So wherever that is. Yep. And it's so totally possible. It's totally possible. But how do I do follow it? follow some steps. Yeah. How do I do it, Brian? What do I got to do? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the first step is, you know, get on the phone. Let's have a conversation. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. I mean, I, I say this a lot and uh, Shannon will attest and Chris can attest. Uh, sometimes I'm the worst realtor in the world because I don't think selling your house is the best option. And I think, you know, pulling the equity out and making your house a rental uh, is, you know, an income based property is going to give you passive income long term. Right. But it's real. Um, you're giving real yeah. advice. You're not just looking for a sale, I guess, if you will. No. And you're, you're thinking ahead for building wealth for your clients, your friends, your family. Yeah. And well, that's, that's really what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day. I think people appreciate that about I you. I do Brian. too. I definitely yeah. appreciate that I about do. you for sure. Um, well, the, the, the piece that's in that is the first question that, you know, if it's just you or your, you know, husband, wife, uh, you know, husband, husband, wife, wife, but whatever. Um, the conversation you have to have is, are we willing to be landlords? Right. Because that is that sure. is the end all be all of the yeah. whole strategy. And if yep. if you're not willing to do that part, um, you know, know that there's going to be some headaches. There's going to be I mean, we can give you a lot of cool tools to help with like not having the four o'clock a.m you know, Saturday night call or Sunday morning call that, Hey, my water heater went out. I mean, right. we can give you some great resources and things like that. But if you don't want to be a landlord, this conversation doesn't go any further because you both have to be on the same page. Right. And, uh, that's, that's probably the starting point. What's some you... bad things about being a landlord and good things about being a landlord, being one yourself, what, what would you offer uh, feedback for somebody that is thinking about this that might not know like they might have rented yeah. before and know what a landlord did to them i think your son jay yeah. gave a really good example or a bad one yesterday yeah. about a bad landlord so yeah. what what is uh good things about being a landlord bad so that our people can kind of gauge what yeah. that would look like so i mean really uh you know in all of our rentals uh we have a great rapport with with uh with the tenants okay we we do a lot of due diligence um you know you start out and you have a conversation they have to apply they go through the the whole process right and if if you're gonna skip steps and you're gonna cut corners don't do it in that because you know you're putting somebody into a long-term relationship with you right uh by a lease and and you know i can i can tell you some nightmare sides of it uh you know we we did have uh, you know where where people <clears throat> like we're talking about uh, my son Jake, he was in his property up in Boulder and uh, his his property has been flooding, uh, you know for over the last year that they've been there and the landlord basically just said, well you know it's not killing you, uh, you know so we're not fixing it and or we're aware of it and there's nothing we can do about it and you know that's not how to be a landlord right you're not trying to be uh, uh, a slumlord, um, right? Yeah, you're, you got to make it safe for your your tenants. Right, That's right. not you're, safe. You're in a relationship, right? They're they're holding the keys to part of your kingdom, and yep. if you're not going to have a good rapport with them and a good relationship with them, you shouldn't be a landlord. Right. And and understand that 
there are plenty of people that want to rent and that want to stay with you, but don't don't cut corners on on the on the the pre work. Uh, well, have them do a background some check. People or some resources that you have available, like property yeah. management and whatnot, that you can utilize. But yeah. I'd say you still have to have the stomach to to be a landlord, even if you choose to use a property manager right. to kind of manage yeah. the property. You you're going to have to, you know, that's that, that then goes from an in, emotional investment to a business investment, you know, and you have to take a different Without mindset, yep. um, you know, with that. And if you're not able to do, do so, it's probably not going to work out for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. For I sure. mean, it, and it's not the same, right? Like you, you start making different decisions. Uh, yeah. You're looking for, uh, you're trying to buy appliances. If they go out, things like that, you're trying to buy them. Um, in advance on sale, you need to start doing, you know, preventative maintenance. You need to plan on doing repairs along the way. Hey, I've oh, got to replace a carpet. Yeah, yep. yep. you um, better have, have some to, money in the you bank. You have to have some money in the bank. What about right. a home warranty sure. on on your rental? Would home you home warranty? Would, yeah, would you without ad- a doubt. advise a uh, an investor or potential owner to purchase a home warranty? Without a doubt. Okay. And, and add, what is that? Remind it. us what it covers, because I kind of have an idea. So. So typically you can add on coverages, things like that. It's just like any insurance policy, but right. uh, you can cover appliances, roof, sewer, furnace, water heater. If you had, you know, other miscellaneous things you wanted to, to have included in it, you can add those on. Yep. Um, but then air they just call the air conditioning too, right? Yeah, air conditioning, yep. HVAC, all Some that. of those things that you're referring yeah. to are like an add-on. Yeah, like, and it's yeah. a heavy hitter if you have to replace it. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, but but the reality is they don't call you. They call the maintenance company yep. or they call the, the warranty company and the warranty company sends them somebody out. Right. So yep. uh, they'll say, hey, my my AC is not working. They'll send somebody out. They'll get it repaired and then they'll send you. You pay the copay on it. Yep, And it's typically um, a certain amount that they cover. So on an on a yeah. on an appliance, on a fridge or a freezer or something, they cover the repair up to X dollar amount. They won't yeah. cover the whole cost of the replacement, but they'll cover up to a certain amount. So you won't be stuck right. with the whole bill. At least that's been my experience with. On, but I and that's that more that on generally worth it. It like is worth you, it. If yeah. you have one of those things happen, I mean, it's like all insurance. If nothing happens, you're just paying right. that for nothing. Yep. Right. But to have it, that's why we have insurance. Yep. Right. But, um, you know, Peace of mind. When, when we had it happen on our hot tub, they came and replaced like the whole motor and all these things. Yeah. It definitely would it have been sixty-five dollars. A lot more than yeah. than yeah. what that service yeah. call had cost us. You know. Um, yeah. So. And that's yeah. the that's Probably the part, right? It, you know. Yeah, I mean, peace of mind. They don't yeah. call. They're not calling you to say, "Hey, I need somebody to come out." My refrigerator stopped working. They're yeah. calling the the warranty company. Right. Well, and, so, and you know, I I think that you know, home warranty aside, you still need to have like some some financial backing, you know, to, yeah. to accommodate yeah. if something terrible happens. To I think with a lender, right they're going to tell you, you have to have a certain amount of savings sure. teed up to be able to yeah. cover the mortgage on the rental. Sure. If your tenant isn't paying you bet. the rent, Correct. they cover, they, they go through all of that. So we've got right. to make sure you're doing your due diligence on right. the lending side as well. So in addition to what you just said, so you said, do your due diligence um, yep. in terms of researching the tenants, really good, um, yeah. make sure that you have um, potential home warranty, the stomach to be a, a landlord. Uh, yeah. And then, and then all of, all of that set aside, you say, yes, I'm going to do it. Then what do I do? Do I just go start looking for houses and rent my house out? Um, obviously you have to talk to a lender to see how much equity you have in your house to be able to purchase the second one. And then there's a, um, I think you can only use 80% of the rent on the, your, not your primary, your, your home that you're going to tent your tenant out. You can only use 80% of that towards the mortgage. Am I wrong or correct on that, that piece? Depending on the lender. Yeah. I mean, so the lender is going to give you some guidelines. But yep. so you have to talk um, to them essentially. Yep. So we would the next conversation would be with the lender, um, giving them the plan. They're they're going to help do a lot of heavy lifting in this, and they're going to give you some advice. Uh, pulling out equity, you want to make sure that if you're pulling out equity, that your your base rent covers the the money you're pulling out. Yep. Plus your existing mortgage now, right? And. And that can be done through a cash out refinance. That can be done through a bunch of other pieces, you know, with a um, right, with the right home equity line of credit, things what like that. What if it's a VA loan uh, that you're sitting with? But you want to make sure that that's, you know, we can get you some help with rent rates. Uh, Absolutely. 
absolutely. Um, I think I just lost Brian there, but I was going to ask him about the VA lending and uh, what we need to do if your primary residence is under a VA loan. So when he comes back in here, we'll, we'll talk about that. Well, we kind of know the answer, right? You have a certain yeah. amount of the benefit that you can use. The VA loan, Brian, Correct. we were just talking about that. If you're under a VA loan on oh, your, yeah. your property you to, that you're going to rent out. Yep. Again, that's, that's uh, a conversation with the lender. We just need to make sure everyone is, they're going to give you guidelines, right? And we need to play inside the guidelines and that's a big piece. Yep. So, um, there are some tools to figure out rent rates. That's kind of what I was saying in the middle of that, uh, that last where I got dropped, but, um, there are tools out there <clears throat> to help you find, um, rent rates in your area. Yep. Um, there's property there's managers. A, we have a great connection of property managers oh, yeah. that will give us rent rates, yep. um, yep. in a matter of minutes, I can shoot a text message or an email over to somebody and I'll have rent rates, right. um, typically over to you or client. So, so they can gauge right. that in comparison to their their monthly mortgage payment and if it's if it's right. worth it yeah and on um, the co-star the co-star side which is the commercial side um we have access to that which allows us to to actually see rent rates of apartments yeah. houses uh, multifamily, all that stuff so that's great um we can we can dial that down into a micro uh market and give you some really good real-time data right and so wow. that's because uh co-star owns apartments.com and so you know they get all that data in there they're a they're a data-driven product so everything is it's um, this data-driven world we live in right, right. now yeah. so then then you take that money out um of the of your existing home you take yeah. that equity and you purchase the next house right you'd want to make sure you're covering that 20 percent, and you have some cash like we were talking about earlier in the reserves in case something happens right, right? because that's the worst thing that can happen is you know, something happens and, you know, you have to get that worked out and you don't have the cash to do it. We want to make sure you're pulling out enough equity. So we're we're coming up with some real chess moves here. This is not uh, just, you know, jumping in and saying, up, oh, I'm all in and we're doing this in about a day. Um, we need to really plan through that and um, get everything aligned and then make sure that, you know, we can line up tenants and all that stuff while you're under contract um, on the property you're purchasing. So, yeah. right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, and then another thing I was thinking too, is that that age old cliche of someone else is paying your mortgage. So if you rent yeah. out your, your, pro your property for 10 years and increased in equity, a certain percentage, and you're paying down a good, good portion of that note, like you're building generational wealth. So that's it's a, a dream, it's right? a win, win it's yeah, passive right. income. Let's do it. You're able to pass that, that, um, that equity down to your children or, or whoever in your family that you're sending it off to. So it's, it's a really smart uh, strategy. A so. lot of times the risk is worth the reward, yep. you know, um, but you have to make that decision. Is it worth it for you? Because yeah. ultimately nobody can tell you if you have the stomach to do something like that. Right. And, and you may not know until, you know, until it's too late sometimes. Sure. <laughs> well, and at the end of it too, like yeah. what our job really entails when you're talking about this or you're thinking about it is asking questions. So if right. this is something you're considering uh, for your property or um, your so-and-so is considering, you know, your sister or whoever, send them our way so we can ask the right questions. That's one thing we're really good at. Um, you might not like the questions that we ask you sometimes or even the answers. And, you know, that's the, that's the real true hard truth truth about it is that we don't tell people what they want to hear we tell them what they need to and that's well, it's, right. it's our duty we yeah, have to tell have you to. what's going on if you have a plan that you you're going to start a tiny home community in manitou springs you may have a problem with that there <laughs> may be some things you need to know yeah that we right. need to you know find out for you and, right and you know some dreams that can You're, be deflated. Are you are you a dream crusher? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Well, Sometimes I'm the, the appointed dream crusher. Depends. Oh. The other the other part of that is um, you know, they're think of if you own a condo or a townhome, uh, you may not be eligible to have a um a rental in it. And right. you need right. to know that going into it, right? Oh, there yeah, might be yeah. a Absolutely. waiting list. Yeah. Um, you may not be able to because of their FHA guidelines. Yeah. Uh, so huge. we they just only want so many investors yeah. per complex right. owner right. occupancy. That's the right word for that. Right. Yeah. That is. So um, we, yes. we have to make sure that we're, you know, we're doing our due diligence to uh, ensure that you're not making a bad financial decision. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the, the end all be all is if they don't allow rentals. Well, um, we, we definitely want a great job about that. And we have checks and balances in place. Yeah. 
um, with each other and within our organization to help you with that. Well, and if we have a question and we don't know an answer on something, we're going to tell our people that too. Like hold, I don't know the answer. I got to call Brian or hold. Brian's Mm -hmm. like, I got to, I got to call whoever we've got to call lender. You know, we just always pause and we say, Hey, that's, let's table this for now. Problem solving. Problem solving. We don't sit and pull triggers. We give the right answer. So keep that in mind. You know, yeah, you don't want to go in eyes with without your eyes wide open. Absolutely, so it's huge. Um, but yeah, so I hope everyone has a really great Memorial Day weekend here. Thanks for tuning in. I oh, hope it's been awesome. Yeah, I hope you Special get edition. get out and get some barbecue on. Get yeah, some, kick off the summer. Get some Traeger on. Yeah. Buy whatever Buy you want. Buy whatever you want, as I mean, Phil and Sandy know, would say. Like, let's do it. Um, all of that fun stuff. So let's do it. have a have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Yep. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you to everyone that has served in our, our armed forces and for your sacrifice. So have a good one. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.